Hi moms, hey dads, how are you guys doing? I'm Chris from ThatToyDad.com and I'm shooting this video real quick to show you something the Amazon delivery guy just brought me. This box here, it's the Time Timer Plus. Um, something I ordered just yesterday, I think, or two days ago from Amazon DE here in Germany. Um, it's a pretty, pretty cool thing, I guess, and I would like to take this chance to A, unbox this baby here, see what's inside, and uh, tell you a bit about why I got this and uh, what I think about it in general. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, something funny. Look at this, Amazon, I never saw a package like this. Amazon sent me this in this box. It was not in a separate box, it was just this box. You can see the, uh, the, the, um, the tape there. Um, they just slapped the delivery sticker on top of this. Um, I had to peel it off for this video and um, that's it. I think it's good for the environment. So that's a plus, I guess. <laughs> so why did I buy it? It's about $50 uh, on Amazon.com and 50 euros on Amazon DE. Um, that's pretty expensive for a timer. So why did I buy it? Simple reason. Um, we're currently trying to teach our three-year-old son, Benjamin, um, about time. And uh, when he gets up on, uh, let's say, Saturday or Sunday mornings, um, we try to tell him that he should stay in his room for maybe 30 minutes or so and um, listen to an audiobook or something like that. Just, you know, he should learn that uh, to entertain himself and that he doesn't need us all the time. So what I would usually do is um, go with him to his room, um, take my iPhone or iPad, set a timer, and then um, ask him not to come to us uh, before the time is up. And uh, sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, we usually ask him to stay in there for like 20 minutes or so um, and listen to, to his books, play with his toys, stuff like that. The door is always open, so I'm, I'm not talking about um, you know, getting rid of him. He can always come. But we're trying to teach him to entertain himself and to stay in there for like 20 or 30 minutes. So, um, Turns out that a digital timer, as we have it on the iPhone or the iPad, is kind of too ab abstract. He has no idea how much time passed, how long um, he still has to wait. Um, and sometimes he listens to an audiobook and um, there is an alarm inside the audiobook. So an alarm goes off and he comes over after like five minutes and says, the alarm went off. No, it didn't. It was in the audiobook. It wasn't the alarm on the iPad. Um, so the cool thing about this one here is that it has this huge red disc that uh, shows how much time um, uh, remains until the timer is up. And uh, that's something that you can explain even a three-year-old, maybe even a two-and-a-half-year-old. Um, you can tell him, hey look, I'm going to set it to 15 minutes and when the red is up you will hear the alarm and when the red is up you can come over. So he can check for himself um, how much is remaining. That's a pretty cool thing about it. So let's open up the box. Let's take a look at what's inside. Um, I'm going to give you my opinion on it. And then we will run a 30 minute precision test with this baby and see um, yeah, how precise it is overall and if it's worth the money. So let's get started. All right, so here we are back unboxing the time timer. Plus, let's see if we can get this baby open. Uh, one interesting part I think is right on the box, there's the manual. Let's see if I can get this in the camera. Um, it says how it works and um, you know, it, it tells you how easy it is. Set the red disc to start the timer. Disc disappears clockwise. When the red is up, time is gone. Um, here are the, the main features. There's this lightweight disc. It's actually covered uh, by a protective lens. Um, there's the center dial, which you use to set the timer. And um, you have to insert a 1AA battery, AA battery. It's not included. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and yeah, it has this nice handle. Um, I think it's a pretty large clock and I'm sure it's not only for good for a three-year-old, you can also use this for school and all this stuff. Uh, homework, for example, is a great use case for this. Um, and um, yeah, I guess uh, Benny uh, will make use of this and we as a family will make uh, use of this for years to come. So let's see if we can get this open. 
Here we go. All right. Okay, here we go. A lot of cardboard. I think that shouldn't be that much um, of stuff in there. There's the actual timer. Um, here's my hand, so it's full adult hand size, um, which is pretty cool, I guess. Um, it has this handle, the plastic feels, let's put this aside for a second. The plastic feels really, really good, rock solid. The, the turn knob, which looks pretty small on the packing, is actually uh, quite high, so it's, it, um, you know, even a small child should be able to actually turn this. And here you can see the disc. What happens is that um, here's like a tiny cut, cutting or, 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 or a slot or so, um, where the disc disappears. And when the time is up, whoop, it should ring an alarm. But currently there's no, um, there's no uh, battery in there, so obviously there's no alarm going off. Um, I'm trying to, to uh, you know, I have to turn it so the reflection doesn't go all the way into the camera. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it looks, looks pretty solid. The plastic is good quality. I think that's, that's good for a child to use all by himself and it looks, it looks rock solid. So it turns out, and that's a great thing actually for a child. Um, for, 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 a, for an item that you want to gift to a child or that you want to put in his room and that he can use by himself. See this? There's a screw uh, on the battery case. That's pretty cool because it makes it pretty safe. Um, your child will not be able to open this and get a hold of the battery. That's pretty cool, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna get a battery now, get a screwdriver, open this up and put the battery in there. Here's the volume knob, so you can actually set up the volume of this alarm clock, which is pretty good. I'm gonna check it out in a minute. And um, yeah, so that's it for the actual alarm clock. And then all that's left is a small instruction card. And it's basically just um, what it says on the outside. Um, put a battery in there, turn the knob, <laughs> and let it go. Um, that's actually good information because it seems that when you turn this all the way down, the volume knob, the alarm should be off. That's pretty good. So you can even use it in a silent mode. That's awesome. So let's get a battery and let's fire this up. All right, so I got a screwdriver and I got a battery. Now let's talk about the battery really, real quick. It's uh, not a normal battery, it's actually a rechargeable battery. A normal battery would run at 1.5 uh, volts. This one has 1.2. And it's gonna be really interesting to insert this battery into this timer and see if precision keeps up. Um, this may be an issue, maybe it's not. We'll find out. So let's put it in. Let's turn this around and open the battery compartment. Let's see, that's actually, that's really, really good that there is a screw. I really like that. I didn't think about that when buying the product, but now that I see it, I can't see how smart that is. Many, many battery powered toys have that and um, it's obviously a safety consideration. And I'm really glad now that I see it, that this timer has it. Because now Benny can kind of play with it, so to speak. I don't have to put it up on the shelf. Can be really, he, he, he can see it. Um, you know, I can put it, put it right in front of him and I don't have to be afraid that there's something wrong with it. That's amazing. Let me take it to my let, let me take it to my microphone and see if you can hear something. So yeah, there's actually a TikTok, but it's very very quiet and that's a good thing. All right guys, so here I'm back and I have to admit that I'm a bit underwhelmed. <laughs> 
because obviously the sound of the time timer plus that I have here this device it doesn't work I also replaced the battery to see whoops to see if it's uh, maybe a 1.2 volt issue so I put in a normal regular double a battery and it still doesn't work there's no alert going off at the end um, you know when the red disc disappears when the timer is up there's no alert it doesn't matter uh, where how I set up the volume knob there's no uh, alert going off. I'm gonna call it a day now and we'll see how it turns out uh, when the replacement unit is here. See you then. So, here we're back 48 hours into the time timer experience. I have to say two things here. Number one, I was wrong. Somehow, the there's no audio alarm situation resolved itself. I don't know what happened, but um, after I shot the unboxing video, just 12 hours later, uh, my wife tried the time timer together with our son and the alert went off. I don't know what I did wrong. Um, I double checked the video material. Um, if I maybe set the volume knob wrong, I didn't. So something was wrong at the very beginning, but now it works and it constantly works since 48 hours. So I guess I did something wrong. I don't know what it was, but something, something was wrong. Now it works and it works fine as you just heard a few seconds ago. One thing to mention though, if you set the, the volume knob to about halfway, that's almost gonna mute the timer. So you really wanna set it, if you put it up all the way, it's really loud, you're gonna be surprised how freaking loud it is, but if you put it like something like that, it will be perfectly fine. All right, so what to say about the time timer? Um, it worked really well for us. Just uh, the next morning, as I said, my wife tried it with our son. Um, she, she, um, he's three years, three years old. Okay, so she told him, hey, please go to your room for 30 minutes before you come back and wake us up and um, listen to an audiobook. So she turned an audiobook on, on our iPad. And um, he did a perfect job. He waited until the red area was all the way up, the alert came. There you got it, it works. <laughs> um, uh, the alert came off or went off and then he came over and woke us up. That was perfect. And this very morning I was like really surprised because he went up and he was like, Dad, can I have the alert clock with the red, with the red thing on it? Something like that. Um, he speaks German obviously so he said, something like that and uh, I said yeah sure and I told him to set it to to like halfway and he all by himself he did this and he went over to his room and he didn't come back before the thing was up um, he even when it, when the alarm went off um, he even asked me if he could get another 15 minutes so that was really impressive um, so total recommendation <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you want to get like extra 30 minutes every Saturday and Sunday morning. Perfect. Get it. Um, okay, now one thing that um, I was, oh, that's still missing is the uh, 30 minute um, precision test, check, whatever you want to call it. So let's see how this plays out. I have um, set a timer here on my iPad and I'm gonna set it to 30 minutes. And I'm gonna start this one, and now I'm gonna set this one to 30 minutes. And let's see how this goes. I see you in 30 minutes.
All right, moms and dads, here we are back again 30 minutes later. Um, I think uh, the precision of this um, time timer is pretty good. Um, it was like 20 seconds maybe off, um, which is fine. I mean, um, I started them independently. Um, you can set this one up to the second, right? So as long as it's within one minute or so, I think the precision is good. And after all, it's not a high precision device, right? It's meant to schedule tasks for school or basically teach your kid about time and it does this job perfectly as I pointed out earlier. So if you want to learn more about the Time Timer Plus you can head over to uh, thattoydad.com where I posted a full review um, of this uh, timer and I will um, leave a link to this review below this video and I will also leave a link um, to the uh, Amazon page where you can purchase um, this timer. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you very much for spending your time here with me. Um, I hope uh, I could tell you a bit more about what uh, the Time Timer Plus is all about, what it's good for, if it's any good. Um, and uh, from this point, I would can only give you my highest recommendation. I seriously don't know what went wrong in the first place when the alarm did not go off like two days ago. Now it works perfectly fine. So there's absolutely no reason not to recommend this product. Um, I wish you and your families all the best. And um, if you like this video, please check out my blog at toydad.com. And um, guys, I see you on the other side. Goodbye.